Hey guys and girls, welcome back to some Etrian. Um, it's been a minute since I continued Etrian. We're jumping back into it. <clears throat> Brand new to the fray. Um, if you guys are brand new to the fray, as I said, uh, we were just essentially exploring some labyrinths. Um, we just got the primitive jungle essentially unlocked, and um, we're gonna continue from there. I did some leveling, not as much as I wanted, but I think enough to where I can I can move forward, and I feel comfortable moving forward at the very least. So I'm not gonna really get too uh on the nose with the with the grinding right now and personally i just kind of want to try my best to progress the story right now Level 20, nice. Um, okay. So essentially we're just um, filling out the map right now as well. A point here, which I can take. I'll take all the ivy that you can muster out. Um, and we're going this way. Really? Gotta love when you take a step and then you get another battle. I did buy Arya dimes, right? I hope I did, because not gonna be fun walking all the way back. Gotta also say, I don't like how, how much these things take. It's so stupidly annoying. I did. Okay. Just double checking. Okay, so... Dead end again? Frigid. Upward, long thrust, head bash, and sand throw. This thing's a joke for hiding behind behind his friends there. Okay, done with that. Um, is this just fully a dead end? I think it is. Okay, so we're going this way then. We're gonna push through this fight here. I really dig uh, the Highlander. Highlander is powerful. Highlander and um and my 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 Ronin character, powerhouse uh, front row front runners. I'm essentially just um there for you know finisher type moves because. 
they do the most powerhousing of the hits. Oh wait, what? I'm going the wrong way again. We're gonna go straight this way, I think. Nothing? Really? That's kind of annoying me. There's no way on both sides. There's literally like no new way for us to go. I was about to say, yeah, there's a thing over here. Okay. Come on, guys. Thank you. All right, we got that. The ambient sounds of various beasts and insects dance through the air. As you walk along the path, you then spot some people up ahead. It's a couple of soldiers. They appear to be in the middle of a conversation and don't notice you. I saw you know who up ahead. Ah, you mean the Reaper? Have you heard the rumors? Apparently everyone he groups up with dies. The two of them continue take talking but fall silent as they notice you approaching. Oh, he hello there. Well, no, we'd better get moving. The Reaper? Both soldiers shoot you an awkward look as they leave. Who are they talking about? You ponder the question as you continue forward. So there's a person up here that is a bad luck uh, to other groups, apparently. I'm curious of who we're going to run into now. Standing at the base of a great tree, you look up to find a man-made scaffold uh, resting on a... Tall branch was another adventurer using it. Upon a closer observation, you find two roots to the scaffold a makeshift rope of vines and a roughly constructed plank staircase. Um, the rope doesn't look very sturdy, and the stairs appear to be somewhat unstable. They likely hold out long enough to be used once. Any more than that, and you'd be tempting fate. You could try sending someone up the scaffold or ignore it and continue. Uh, try to reach it. Um, let's send, let's send Donkishin. Donkishin looks up and thinks about how best to approach the scaffold. Use the rope. Donkishin decides to use the rope. It strains at their weight as they pull themselves up. On the way up, they find a point where the rope is weak and frayed, but thankfully they reach the scaffold. Nice. You find a small box likely belonging to whoever previously used the scaffold. Uh, inside is an item used to avoid monsters. Donkishin puts it in their backpack. Um, use the stairs. They gently lower a foot onto the unsteady steps. The stairs deafening creak. Defin deafeningly creaks. And Donkishin grows nervous in fear that they might collapse. But Donkishin stays calm and carefully steps. Several steps break and fall during the trip, but they somehow. Yay! You give Donkishin a moment to catch their breath and continue with their exploration. He did it! I figure because he's like he, he's like the stealthy guy in our group so he would be able to stealth his way out of that um i'm really curious about this reaper character following the verdant path you come to a dead end Find, finding nothing of interest you turn around suddenly donkishin cries out in pain a red swollen patch on donkishin's skin leads you to believe they were bitten by some sort of insect oh that's not good Bianca examines the afflicted area, then rummages through the, their bag and pulls out a small case. Inside is a device composed of a large, two-layered tube as long as someone's palm. Bianca holds the tip of the device to the swelling and extends the tube outward. You're not quite sure what happens next, but powerful suction is applied to the bite, and blood is drawn from the wound. Damn, she is well prepared. Seems the device alleviates afflictions by drawing out the infected blood along with the toxin. After measuring the time, Bianca removes the tube, discards the extracted fluids, and applies some ointment. Within a few minutes, the swelling goes down and the pain fades away. It seems the poison was fully extracted. Wow. Talk about being prepared. Jesus. She managed to get that quick. I'm about to run into a fight too, so I, I probably should heal him. Okay. Come on, you know you want you want to start a fight. Yep. 
Figures as much. I don't get more than a few steps without this. Get rid of them quickly. And let's keep going. We have quite a bit more of this place to explore. Um, I have to make sure this forest... I, I grab everything I can in this forest. Your party continues through the labyrinth. Suddenly you hear the sound of something plopping onto the forest floor. You look around for the source of the noise, but it's, it's nowhere to be found. Was it a monster or perhaps a small animal? Let's proceed with caution. You stop and notice a sweet scent permeating the air. You continue forward as if beckoned by the aroma and came to a stop at the base of a large tree. It's leaking a great deal of sap. You wonder if it's safe to taste or if you should just enjoy the smell. Mm. I feel like that's a trap, so we're just going to leave. You decide sampling the fragrance is enough, but as you turn to leave, you spot a group of buzzing bee like beasts heading your way. You tense up at the frightening sight, but find they completely ignore you and instead swarm the tree trunk. Yeah, I figured as much. It, it was t That was too obvious of a trap. You watch them for a moment, but they're far too fixed on the sap to take any notice of you. You might be able to land a preemptive strike on them like this, or you could just leave. Yeah, preemptively strike. We have this opportunity, we might as well take it. Leaving the monsters no time to prepare themselves, you charge in for the attack. Actually, you know what? I can just force attack them. And that should be death for this group. There you go. Quick and easy. Upon confirming that all threats have been eliminated, you sheath your weapons. You may have gained the upper hand in that fight, but things could get could easily go south if more monsters show up. Seeing no point in staying around, you decide to leave. Alright. So, we made our way out of that. Thankfully. That would have been annoying if, like, the bees just swarmed me because we smelt like honey for, from eating it. Making your way through the forest, you spot a young man leaning up against a wall in the distance. He appears to be treating a wound. Your first impression tells you He's a somewhat melancholy individual. Upon noticing you, he calls out in a small, unempathetic voice. Ah, <clears throat> oh, this is what, who they call the Reaper, then. He gives you a dreary look, then heads deeper into the forest. Alright, the road up ahead is covered with thorns. Watch your step. Could that man be the Reaper those soldiers were talking about earlier? Clearly, he looks like an edgelord. You think on the possibility as you resume your adventure. Oh, uh, his poison floor. Or, like, damage floor. Um. I think we should kill this one because of the boost. Otherwise, I would have probably ran. I want that boosted experience. There you go. Oh, that sucks, because I think Hitties is going to get wasted now. Oh, we got the boost. Almost everyone to level 20. Um, let me see. So it's one, two, three, probably about four. I want to say one, two, three, four. I'm going to go. I'm going to say that. Two, three, four. I'm gonna make sure um, I have the breakaway points at the very least. Hey, Death Aga. Yeah, I, I grinded quite a bit. I always over I, I over I always seem to over level in these games. Um Where am I going? Let's 
That's good to know, though, that it, 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 if I'm quite a high level, because I was hoping to over-level it over everything in this dungeon so I can just run right through it. Level 13. How was it? I mean, no spoilers on the boss and all that stuff, but uh, was it an interesting fight? Hard. A red bear and Cerberu. It was quite a struggle, huh? <laughs> yeah, um, I didn't expect that Sir Nunu, uh, Nun, Sir, Sir Nuno on the, the dungeon before. Um, so it was an interesting turn of events there. One, two, three. For now, I'm just going to assume that, that it matches up and we'll have to fix that later. When I feel like it. I don't want to step on the things, but... I'm just going to go through it, because... Why not? I have to finish mapping this later. I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out. Let's just keep going. much harder than the previous versions i've noticed that a little bit um i like that it's a it's a mix of all the versions though so you kind of get um uh you're going through basically like dungeons harder like type of field dungeons of each one from each game which is kind of interesting oh we got an foe he only goes back and forth okay so I don't have to worry about him too much. Oh, actually, you know what? I will have to worry about him. I don't think there's a way around. <laughs> I can probably kill him with some uh, force moves. See, I don't know if I want to try that, though. Hello. It would be interesting if I can beat him. We're not prepared in the slightest, but just want to see how much he takes. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, I think I kill him with force moves. I could probably kill him now, but I don't want. I don't know if I want to try that. Honestly, get me out of there. Oh, is he going to continue following me? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll just lure him around. That's fine. We. Oh, let me heal too. Well, we got ourselves a little friend here. So did you beat the game yet? By chance? Or are you like a couple dungeons in? That would be interesting. I I kind of hope not, cause I, I like don't get me wrong. Um, it's it's kind of cool. Like if it's like um, it's it's basically like an homage to like the whole series, but. A part of me wants a little bit of originality and um 
in terms of like just coming up with a new sort of thing. Oh, actually, no, wrong one. Oh, you're in the same part as me. Okay. I do like all the classes though that it's like a range from from the whole series. Number four had an ultimate post dragon battle. Yeah, I do remember that. I'm just I'm, I'm just hoping like it's just not a whole reuse of a, a reuse of um you know all the assets type of uh the other games and yeah in a couple new levels of your own something interesting um but I I love I love the series played a bunch on my channel um and I just recently started streaming to uh, essentially because these this game is. Uh, so time consuming with its exploration that I figured I'd stream it and then just upload it on my on my YouTube Because um, there's just a lot to do Should have books for increased stats for 10 limit Okay Yeah, that's interesting to note um, I'll have to check that out Oh, he's seen me already. Let me drop that there. Can I circle him down here? Oh, he's just going to go back now. One hot, yeah, most of them are for that uh, in that regard. That's why I figured um, streaming would be probably the best way to play this. Even though I did record the rest of them on my channel, but that was just insane. Uh, having su successfully navigated the monster-infested path, you look ahead to see a group of soldiers coming in coming your way. Hello there. A little stuffy in these woods, isn't it? The soldier wipes sweat from his brow, then takes a look around before continuing. If I may ask, you wouldn't have happened to have seen any other soldiers around here, would you? There would have been a girl with them. The soldiers eagerly await your answer. Um, no. I see. The soldier hangs his head at your answer, then looks up to the sky and asks himself where they could be. He then tells you to be careful on your journey before he and his companion continue on their way. After seeing them off, you continue on your way as well. Okay, so there's other people potentially in here that I need to find. And there's two FOEs in this area. That's fun. I kind of want to um, go back to town because I don't like having no TP at the moment. auto battle oh we are full too yeah we need to go back uh, 
Alright, I need to... Oh, no! Okay, no, I can still get out of here. I didn't know they, they would see me, like, right on that side. That, that would have been really, really annoying. If uh, I got chased too far. Okay. Honestly, I'm probably going to come back and map most of this out, but I don't know. I don't know. There's a door here. Yes, yes. Just to lose them real fast. What do we got? Your party follows the waterfront and comes to a pond at a dead end. It's there you witness a peculiar sight. A multitude of round leaves with white flower buds in the center float on the surface of the water before you. Little birds and frogs sit atop the leaves, yet they show no sign of sinking. You test the buoyancy of one of the leaves. It's very sturdy. In fact, you may even be able to ride on one. Oh, I can jump across if I want it then. That's what this is saying. Don't try it, though. Not yet, at least. Um, it's, it might be worth a shot. You know what? Go for it. If you're going to do this, then the bigger the leaf, the better. You decide on a leaf roughly the size of a small boat, just a short distance away from the shore. You use the other leaves as stepping stones to reach your target leaf, then take a seat. A gentle breeze blows across the water, allowing you to forget the force's oppressive humidity. In addition to the calming breeze, the faint scent of the nearby flowers puts everyone at ease. Nice! TP. I was just being... I was just being mad that I didn't have any. Very, very good. I, that, that'll keep us in the labyrinth a little longer. Okay. Can I at least kill one left after an auto attack? Probably not. Oh, they never mind. They put everyone to sleep. Alright, turn it off. That's fine, that's fine. Wow. That was rude. Killing one of my characters off like that. I need to go back badly to sell stuff. This whole area is mappable, like such. I hope. Otherwise, that's going to be annoying. Um, yeah, these are good. A spot here. I can get behind it. And then I think there's a spot there. Okay. Alright, let's hope that that's like that. If not, we'll, we'll come back for that and work work around how that fits together. Just want to find the steps to the next, like the next floor or something before I before I go back.
I really hope we get good loot too out of selling the stuff in here. Oh, wait. What is that? As you approach the edge of the forest, you feel as though a piercing and malicious gaze has fallen upon you. You then hear a monstrous cry slice through the silence of the woods. Judging from the ground, you assume it must be some sort of large bird. You're not sure what you've done to aggravate it, but it doesn't appear as though it intends to attack you at this time. You decide to avoid provoking the bird any further and leave the area. Okay, that's that's an interesting thing there. I might I might stick a boss mark just just maybe. I don't know what that is, but. We'll have to find out later. You arrive at a dead end to find a short tree with widespread branches. Looking up, you find that the curvature of the branches forms a complex yet beautiful design. Having sat down to admire the sight, Donkishin then feels something fall on their knee and looks down. Much to their surprise, they see a massive wriggling spider. Donkishin tries to move the spider, but as they bring their hand close, it rears up on its hind legs in a threatening... Oh, he's going to get poisoned again? I, I think he was only got poisoned last time, too. If you'd like to get away from the spider as soon as possible, you could try ignoring it, warning, you're ignoring its warning and just brush it away. Or to avoid disturbing it, it might be best to wait for it to leave on its own. It's up to you to decide the best course of action. So if you scare it with bride brushing it away, it might not be good. Believing it would be dangerous to provoke it, Donkey Shin decides to wait for the spider to leave on its own. The spider crawls around on Donkey Shin's leg for a while, but eventually wanders off. Relieved that you avoided any trouble, you quickly return to your journey. Yeah, do not swipe. No, hey, we ain't swatting no spider. Not happening. Um, this is a full-on dead end, though. Just that spider. I think I saw a door there or something like that looked like going down. Yes, there is something there. What is that? Okay, that is a down way. Let's do that. And then um, I essentially just need to finish mapping this so I can register it. Uh, while exploring the forest, you notice a monkey swinging through the trees on a vine. You look closely to see a vine hanging from a thick tree branch in front of you. Sure, why not? Um, who's gonna be a monkey man? Or a woman? Let's throw... Screw it, let's throw, let's throw my character on there. Uh, I grab the vine and kick off into the air. You watch as they swing back and forth like a pendulum. Taking some time to have a little fun relieves your fatigue. Oh, if I knew I was going to do that, I would have picked the one with the less TP. Can someone else swing? Yes. Um, arrows. Okay, cool. I'm assuming the vine's going to break eventually, though. So. Either that or we're going to get into a fight. Because there's always a catch with something like this. Oh, no. I, th I Okay, so I can use it, I think, once with everyone is what it seems. And then Donkey Shin. He came crashing down. Is that what that just said? Yeah, he did. Yeah, so it broke at the last character. Seems the vine was worn out from others swinging too much.
I think the only main room, too, that I have to mess with is this one. Which I'm not 100% sure how exactly, like, where the holes are for that room. I mean, it's not that far from the entrance, honestly. So let's just go back and um, we'll come back and map it uh, later because I need to sell. Creeper fist, warhammer, ooze helmet, oak, bun oak bunker. Harbor Harborgen. Oh, that's magic defense. I need a toxic barb and I can make the spiky armor. That would be useful, I'm sure. I, I have to stick the weapons though first. I didn't get anything. Oh, the Warhammer. That'll give her some damage. Sure. That's for you. I think that's all we can do right now. I need to get more EN. Let's quickly go back and we're just gonna we're just gonna map it we're gonna uh we'll map that room out i'll get it registered and then i should be okay It'd be stupid to run from a gold but i'm uh, right now i'm not worrying about it Chest here. Um, you. Paralyzer. We all stay on one, so it's perfectly fine if I get hit. I just have to heal before the, another battle picks up. right now Murder all of them. Get that over with. Looks like it's just straight up. I think that's it. Alright, so 
so now let's make it to the steps and then um hopefully i think that should be fine to to head back Kind of rushing through this part. I don't. I don't. I'll fight off screen if I need some levels and whatnot. Being seen was actually not a good idea. Eh. That sucks. Um, go away. Yeah. Really? You get me when I walk through the door? Leave me alone. Come on. Someone get away. Thank you. I just want to register this map. That's all I want to do right now. This way. The irony. You, you, you want to put me in a fight right in front of the, the entrance down that I wanted. That's fine. I'm just east in you. You guys deserve that. Head bash, ice knife, go for it. B2F, primitive jungle. Uh, anything happen when we come down? Nothing? Okay. I just want to fill out the, the, the immediate vicinity. Nice. I honestly, I had a protector in it, uh, when I started, but I just decided to just try and go full on attack. Uh, characters um, just to see how it how it felt like how it did I actually might change the night seeker the night seeker has been good for um uh, for little events for sure but I'm sure one of my other characters could would probably be just as good because I'm not liking most of his stats um, he does have um like his uh his sleep ability and um his sleep stab and uh the the, the shadow stab the sand stab i think sand throw where he like blinds an enemy it's worked on bosses so that's been pretty useful to like stop mad uh mad like like just all out attacks that like like that that um the red bear did to like my whole party where he attacked everyone um he missed like almost all of it during that fight, which was insanely useful. But just his attacking, like he can't attack for nothing. It's damages might not be worth it. Now, do I have to actually draw it first? Or can she map it without me drawing it? No, I have to. Okay, I'm gonna do that. That's fine. I just thought I could check just to see. Okay. Um. 
so I'm gonna be right back on I'm like um because this is going up on my YouTube um I I'm doing periodic like hour streams uh each part so I can have a good bit to edit down and make so um, I'll be back in like 20 minutes or so um yeah like like 20 minutes uh, 20 30 minutes and continue from there pugilist is good i love pugilist the strength in, on that thing is powerful um but i had a pugilist on on, on the game before so I, I i've just been trying to switch up the party somewhat uh make it a little bit challenging in that in that regard uh, and play things i've never used before uh, but yeah um i don't know the the hero class is interesting but it's not as good as i thought but i mean for the moment i'm just gonna see how it plays out uh but yeah i'll be i'll be right back thanks for tuning into the stream by the way guys um my youtube is uh youtube.com slash crixis13 uh that's where these videos are heading to after all of this but um guys want to give me a follow or check that out i'd greatly appreciate it um and i'll be right back after like 20 minutes 